Welcome back to another beauty channel. So today I'm here to give you a very soft, chill, subtle, everyday makeup look. Oh wait, I forgot to mention, this is all drugstore slash affordable makeup. All this makeup is under $20. Under $20. So if you want to see how I achieve this look, keep watching. Keep watching. Keep up watching. Uh, keep up. So first I'm going to go in with my Ruby Kisses eyebrow pencil that I got from my local beauty supply store in the color dark brown and fill in my eyebrows. Now I'm going to take my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Toffee to clean up my brows on the top and the bottom. to blend out the concealer and repeat the same steps on the next eyebrow. I'm going to go in and clean the top of my eyebrows and basically repeat the same steps that I did for underneath my eyebrows and continue to blend, blend, blend. take my e.l.f. eyeshadow primer and use that to go over my lash line so that I don't get as much creasing. And I'm going to take my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color orange to correct any dark areas on my face including around my mouth, some spots on my nose, and under my eyes. I'm going to then use my Real Techniques Beauty Blender to blend everything out. <laughs> Now I'm going to take what is currently my favorite foundation, the Dewy Finish Maybelline Fit Me Foundation in the color 360 Mocha, apply it to my face using my fingers, then blend it out with the Beauty Blender. under my eyes, the bridge of my nose, my forehead, my chin, and around my mustache area. Now I'm blending everything out with that same Real Techniques Beauty Blender. Back in with my LA Girl Concealer in the color Toffee to just give my eyes a little bit more highlight. So I put a scarf on because so much makeup was getting in my hair. But now I'm just concealing my eyelids with LA Girl in Toast. Blending that out, then I'm going to set it with my Black Opal Finishing Powder in the shade Medium. <music> to ensure there's no creasing under my eyes, I go back in and blend it and then set it with that same Black Opal Powder in the shade Medium. I set all the areas of my face that I previously concealed. <music> I let it bake for about 10 to 15 minutes. I'm going to go in and dust off all the excess powder with my e.l.f. powder brush. I'm going 
going in with my black opal finishing powder in the color dark to set the areas of my face that weren't highlighted. <laughs> bronzer in the color ebony bronze and contour my face with my elf stippling brush <laughs> mascara the l'oreal voluminous original to coat my top and bottom lashes i personally don't prefer wearing falsies for an everyday makeup look <laughs> BH Cosmetics, go into the second to last highlighter color to use on my inner tear duct, my brow bone, the highest points of my cheek, my nose, forehead, and my upper lip. highlighter is so 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 pigmented the camera is not doing it justice I prefer this over my matte gold deposit I'm taking my NYX lip liner pencil in the color chestnut to line my lips in the color butter for my lippy today. I'm going in and adding a little bit more liner and a little more bronzer to my lip. Now I'm taking my clear lip gloss that I got from my local beauty supply store to apply to my lips. I'm taking my NYX Dewy Finish Setting Spray and spraying it all over my face. Finally, I'm just going to take off my scarf and adjust my wig that I created, of course, play around with it, and that's pretty much it. this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe to the meta beauty channel and i'll see you next time bye bye bye